methods time measurement mtm system one predetermined time system in this video i will explain um, how to use that to do the time study i will show an example calculation um, towards the end uh, but first uh, let's explain this mtm system one uh, this is the engineered method of determining the actually the first engineered method in determining the standard time for any uh, work task um, this system divides these 10 different categories of motions that we make or elements and then it also uh, developed a standard time for each of these motion after studying many different kinds of uh, work tasks and as you can see this is the reach table and you can uh, to give an example let's say reaching for 12 inches and then uh, category a type of reach uh, that is 9.6 and you can see the description of what i will what are you reaching for? Uh, the job uh, reach for an object in a fixed location, um, object jumbled together. Um, so we'll see an example basically detail. So these tables are very pretty self-explanatory. Um, uh, and then this move table, the difference between reach and move, uh, reach we, when we move empty handed. On the other hand, move is when we have something in our hand. And it's kind of easy to um, understand. You really don't have to memorize it. You can see the move table has weight in it, where the reach table do not have weight in it. And then um, there is this turning when you apply pressure table. Um, there are two cases of apply pressure, um, case A and case B. Case B, whenever we apply pressure, there is a follow-up motion like regraphs. So this regraphs time is actually added to this, um, this one to get this um, pressure type uh, B. Uh, we'll explain soon uh, this later. So this is the graphs table, how much time it takes to graph something. And then uh, it also gives, uh, so all these 10 different motions. Um, I'll post a link to this document in the openeducator.com so you can get these tables. Uh, this table basically explain another uh, finer detail. So when so when we work, we have both hand in motion, the left hand, right hand. So if it's a simple task, then if we can perform it simultaneously, uh, both left hand and right hand, then you only add the hand that takes more amount of time for obvious reason. But if it cannot be performed um, simultaneously, if it's a difficult task, then you have to add basically both time, uh, the left hand time and also the right hand time. We'll explain with an example soon. So here is an example of uh, a flashlight assembly using this MTM1 system. And um, so, uh, usually I'm going to use my left hand to grab this uh, flashlight housing first. So I'll reach for the flashlight housing. Let's assume that it is 12 inches away. So this coding, let's ex let explain that. This is R12A. So let's go back to my wrist table. Here is my wrist table. So in my flashlight assembly, I wrote a code R12A. So R means reach, 12 means 12 inches reach, and A means this A category of reach. This flashlight housing is in a fixed location. It's a very simple type of um, reaching for very simple type of situations. You can read this description. It's not jumbled together, very large, easy to, um, a reach type of situation. So the timing for that would be 9.6. So the coding would be reach 12 category A and the value for that would be 9.6. And then um, once we reach for the housing, then I have to grasp the housing. So this is the grasping code Z1A. It's a very simple grasp, very nice graspable object not really uh, complicated you can read this table the graphs table for all these definitions so this is basically uh, the situation for G1A the simplest graphs possible um, and then um, so I graphs that and then I have to kind of re it so that the um, this end 
um, basically I'm going to insert the battery in there at the same time with my left hand while I'm reaching for the housing with my right hand I'm reaching for the fast battery let's say this guy and then both kind of involve the same thing reach grabs orient and then move is basically moving close to me so that I can basically um, have control and put the battery uh, inside the housing and let's go to the move table so 12 inch move this is also again a very simple move so this is the move table and these objects are not really that heavy so there is no weight factor adjustment so I'm reaching for 12 inches and then um, a category of uh, move uh, so you can see here uh, this is the uh, category now if I had about say 22 pounds on my hand then there would be this factor um, added but in this case a simple uh, light object so 12.9 inch 9 would be the TMU value for 12 inch move and then also position I have this a uh, simple symmetric object you can check the position table which the value for TMU is 5.6 and then I have to release the battery so once I position the battery on the housing the releasing takes about 2 TMU and the release table is uh, somewhere here is the release table and then position table is this so you can read those um, table very simple self-explanatory now for to getting this second battery and third battery will take about the same time 37.7 TMU and then after that we uh, get the end cap this guy take the end cap reach for it same thing grabs I have to also orient the end cap so that I can put it in the housing uh, and then move um, while I orient and then um, position it on the end, end of the housing here and then push this spring first I have to push this spring and then I gotta do a little bit of back turn so that I can align that on the housing um, here after I do that I particularly this piece is not so well designed so it take a I can't turn full it's a little bit tight or maybe tighter spring so it took about 575 degree turn to close this whole thing and then tighten um, finally uh, to get all this TMU and this is kind of pretty sex explanatory we have explained that and then we have to basically set it down this should be actually 12 there is a typo here so 12 inches away let's say I'm putting down here after it's assembled the total TMU is this and then total second takes is about 8 seconds one TMU is 0 0.036 seconds so I hope this explains the MTM the method time measurement system one in the next video I'll explain the same example using method two also using the uh, most uh, time measurement system